Hoovians, and welcome back to the main channel. Now, I know I said on first, um, Tuesday, sorry, that there weren't going to be another, um, visual version of these videos for quite a while due to my camera, uh, being fixed, but I forgot, and then, it's a general easy mistake, but I forgot about this camera, the other camera, the previous camera, so the quality might not be as perfect as you've come to, you come to know come to get used to with the um, new camera but nevertheless it'll still be as entertaining as possible I'll try and sort out the quality to make sure the quality is good we're still using this and the microphone that's connected to it so we will still have the same quality of audio it just might not be the same quality of visual but I'll try my best um, and then that's all I can do so today we're going to talk about, in a brief term, all about, and it's an interesting topic, it's about costumes within the companions. So, I mainly want to say that my favourite companion costume of all time has got to be Ace's jacket. My second favourite companion costume of all time is Asterix, right? I know that New Who, New Who is a little bit different, right? With New Who, a lot of them wear regular clothes, different clothes each episode, but mainly, majoritively, in classic Who, a majority of it was the clothes that we've, that they wear quite often and they wear quite a lot. So, Adric has got his famous um, yellow, red and a bit blue top. I don't know anything about fashion, so we're not going to go into that much detail, but I wanted to say that I, I personally really like the element of a classic companion's costume because you you then recognise the companion via the item that they're wearing. So, for example, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. A good example is Ace's jacket. Now, Ace's jacket is from phenomenal some synonymous with Ace. So when you look at the power of the Doctor and Ace returns, Ace then adopts that jacket. And I think that it symbolizes creative, it symbolizes um st not directly gonna follow the rules. It states that everything that's gonna happen is gonna be extraordinary. Um we all know that Ace as a as a character is very much a, I've got a baseball bat, I'm going to bat, bat this dog's head off, I'm going to try to do as many explosions, I'm going to do all this um, action uh, stunt performer style work. And I think that that's what the jacket represents. The jacket represents who the character is. And if you see someone wearing that jacket, you immediately know, and if you're in the know-how anyway, you know that that is a Doctor Who ace cos costume and that's what works really well because you can play all these games of guessing the character but you just see that jacket and you instantly know that that's that is ace and i be perfectly honest i think ace is a cracking companion overall in because you have to separate the two with new who are classic when it comes to ca companion types because classic who has more of a, a wide longer range and new who has Ha has the Chopper Chain personality, then you have to take it at face value that all the companions in New Who are the are that type of person and classic Who. The it is just the way TV's made in those two instances. So you have to you have to look at them in a separate eye to make sure you criticise the bits properly and they're not you're not upset in each category if that makes sense. So I feel like the period costumes in New Who. Are, are meant to be there due to where it is and what time it is and what year it is and what whatever. But I think the classic who just has the staple of that's what the doctor's wearing, this is what the companion's going to be wearing. They can wear a different t shirt or what different whatever, but that jacket on Ace needs to stay because everyone will remember it, it'll become synonymous with the character, and that's what we want in life. We want it to be synonymous with the camera, we want it to. Make the camera feel comfortable. We want everyone to feel that we know that character more than we've ever known any other character before. And that 
in my opinion, is what makes it more personal, more interesting, and just more the type of thing you want to be there and seeing, you want to do this, you want to do that. You want to watch this character because you feel that there's connection, you feel that there's something there, and that just makes it more, I don't know, perfect, interesting, and just well worth the time and the effort that the costume department went through to, to A, decide the costume, B, probably make the costume, and C, make sure it works well on Sophie Aldridge so that, it's, that it looks right. And so, there we have it. My opinion in a whole is that a companion costume in Classico is something that is bold, that sticks out, and something that, on hindsight, if a fan wanted to dress up as that character, it would be very simple to replicate it. Not direct, not exactly, but with the essence. And in New Who, depending on which episode you're choosing for that companion, depending on what costume you choose for them, which isn't always great, but sometimes something that's not always great has to be what I like to call perfect. So, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Time to come out. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.